Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter Patrick Ewing. And honestly, I am intrigued and excited to try out this Patrick Ewing card and see if he is any good at the center power forward position in my team. So the thing about Patrick Ewing is slow release. We know that. We'll talk about it in freestyle. I'm a little worried about how that's going to work. But at the same time, stat and badges are phenomenal. I think a lot of people are hating on this card. I'm not totally sure he deserves all that hate. So before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. We'd really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Patrick Ewing, seven footer at center, 99 offense and defense, 95 driving layup, 98 post game, 98 mid range, 87 three ball, 95 free throw, standing and driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 90 pass accuracy, elite level defense, great rebounder. He's super fast for a big and he's got 97 vert, 98 strength, 90 on the four lateral quickness. On paper, he is phenomenal. Badge wise, he's also looking really really good acrobat back down punisher fast twitch masher post spin poster as a rise up catch and shoot claymore uh i mean everything interceptor box out beach rebound chaser brick wall precision dunker blow by speed booster fast feet rise to gripper bulldozer movable force for 94 feet he's got everything he needs he's got all the key gold shooting badges he's got gold handles for days gold unpluckable the card is really complete and really good and he's missing basically nothing but the question with patrick ewing is mainly um, the jump shot. That's the one question with him. And I, here's the thing. I used his diamond card a little bit and I didn't hate that card. I really didn't. So dude, I'm not going to lie to y'all. This is not that bad. People are gassing it. It's not good, but it's not that bad. Like I, I don't understand what is, I mean, Wilt's release is worse than this. Like it's not fast, but it's not like the worst release in the world. The people who are acting like this Patrick Ewing sucks are just bugging. I don't understand it. He's a he's a solid popper with good enough shooting stats and badges to be a, a good wide open shooter. And he's got legitimate great athleticism, very, very capable playmaking ability. He could play the four and the five at a high level, very large player build, has all the completeness defensive badge wise. Like I see no reason why this Patrick Ewing card isn't super solid. Normal fade is a good fade. Like it doesn't seem like his upper ruins the fade. I I do not see the why why the hate for this card. He may not be Larry Markin in level of pick and popper. Like he may not be the best pick and pop big in the game. He might not be Chris Stapp's Porzingis, but like he's a legitimately solid, really good all around big. Him, Hakeem, D Rob, like he's better than Wilt to me. He's probably better than Hakeem and D Rob to me realistically. At least right there on that same level. Like this card is very good. I don't understand the hate on him. Is he? Th he may not be the best big in the game. But he's a very, very solid big who can definitely compete at the highest level, a competitive level center. I don't understand all the hate. And look, I've greened almost every shot with him. It's not like the release is ungreenable at all. Let's hop into a game, see what Patrick Ewing can do. All right, hopping into this game on the defensive end of the court. We got a legit matchup. This dude's got Dark Matter, Steph, um, Opal Kobe, who's really good. Opal Gas or Gasol at center is not bad at all. Pink Diamond PG at the small forward is not like a weakness, I wouldn't say. And then AD at power forward, hard, Dark Matter as well. Like, he's got a really solid team. We have a better team, yes, I would say. Overall, with Bull Bull, um, Lou Aldang, Jason Tatum, J Kidd, and um, and Ewing. But not a, I mean, pretty, I would say relatively evenly matched teams, for sure. Let me put on a, the proper free minutes here real quickly. And let's run our offense. Um... Get Patrick Ewing in a pick and roll to start us off. I think he's better as a roller than he is as a popper, but I think he can kind of do both at a pretty high level. We'll actually push pop him right back out there, run around 93 speed at center. That's serious. And he finishes over Kobe, who's not a weak defender, has what he needs. I mean, that's a nice finish right there. Sorry, that's Richard Jefferson. I thought that was Kobe. I'm totally tripping. That's number 24 at bald head. I thought it was Opal Kobe. It's Opal Richard Jefferson. I'm tripping. So, and he's got pink diamond stuff. I lied. This dude's team is not as good as I thought. Besides Dark Matter AD, his team's a little bit weaker than I thought. I thought it was Dark Matter Steph and Opal Kobe just looking at him but i was wrong so my bad this dude's team's not as good as i thought but still it's not a terrible team um play the corner look at patrick ewing good bump there stay in front of marcus Gasol. very good step contest rotate the thing is he has great defensive mobility oh that's a great putback animation for Gasol. not a lot i can do about that it's just an rng animation um come set me a good pop here please drag back tatum drive tatum attack the rim back off to this pop up top ewing behind the back ewing attack downhill and ewing to the rim slams at home why do we not like this card like why are people hating on this card i don't get it he's not bad i know he's not the best but he's not bad at all I, if he had a better release sure it'd be nice but like he, he moves quite well for a center. He's got serious mobility ability. Um, he's able to put the ball on the floor at a pretty high level. He's super versatile and elite defensively. And like, it's not like he can't shoot. I, I do not understand the hate for this card literally whatsoever. It makes no sense to me. Catch here. If he would just help off the pot. I'm, I'm shooting this if he gets. Yep, I'm shooting. I don't care. Come on, Ewing. Dude, what is the problem with this card? 
Like, what are we hating on him for? I, I don't see it. Like, he, If he's open, he's going to hit it. He may not be, like, the fastest release in the game at the center spot. Yes, it's not a great release. I get that. But, like, there's a lot of centers that people are using that do not have incredible releases. This release is not significantly worse than Dark Matter Wimby's release, honestly. Like, I don't see the hate for this card. I know it's not the best release in the world, but he does everything well. He's a really, really good all-around card, and he can shoot the crap out of it as well. Another wide open three. I finally missed one. That's me. But that was even slightly late. I, I missed it late, not early. That's a good thing. Like, I know I've only played two and a half minutes. I think this dude already quit, but I am so confused by the slander that this Patrick Ewing card is getting. I don't know if this dude quit or what's going on, if he put his controller down or something, but um, I I I'm legitimately kind of baffled why people don't like this card. Now, if you get a quit, and I guess we'll take the quit. Let's hop into one more game. Let's get a little bit more gameplay. Just a couple more clips with Patrick Ewing. Okay, this dude that I'm playing, his team kind of sucks. For the second game, he's got Pink Diamond Steph, Diamond MJ, I think, um, Opal Paulo from the Pro Pass, and then Pink Diamond Larry Johnson from last week, last season's Ascension, and Pink Diamond Joakim Noah, who's not very good. So um, not a great squad. Joakim Noah is admittedly a really good defender, but I don't think this is a very good team overall. I'm literally just going to try to get like a three or two off with, with Ewing again if we can, and then we're going to call it a video, I think. Come set me a good pop here. Hopefully he helps down with uh, Joakim Noah. He kind of does. That's a midi, but it should still be green. I'm missing slightly late. That's a good sign. That's actually a really good sign. Uh, his release is not horrifically slow i promise y'all what a freaking animation i know it's only diamond mj but he's still an amazing slasher and he gets himself a god tier animation um driving to the rim attack downhill again play our pop over here behind the back kobe escape stop pop over top i'm earth that one was early i got slowed i got slowed down by noah there i don't love this release this is not a three hunting card i don't want to sit here and gas him like he's this elite level three hunter incredibly amazing shooter because he's not great dunk i get i'm lagging but i hit the dunk anyway we'll take it i just think when he's open you should make it and me missing a couple of them late is actually a good sign the more you get it down like the, the easier it'll be to hit and it's not particularly slow that's good defense on the interior but they call a foul but i don't know what you want me to do about that honestly um it is what it is Let's play a little bit of defense and or let's play a little bit of offense. Hopefully get ourselves a wide open three. And honestly, if we can get ourselves a wide open three or if we can just get ourselves another three ball, I think I'll end the video there. So I feel like I've honestly seen enough of Patrick Ewing in this gameplay to work to be very convinced that he's a super duper solid card. Like, I just don't understand the people who don't think this card is good. I, I don't get it. I mean, he he may not be an elite level shooter, but that's OK. I, he can be a good enough shooter and that's all he really needs to be. Uh, come off of this again. Stop, pop, Ewing, open, three. I'm smoky, though. I will admit, I'm smoking with him, and that, that that's a little worrisome. I don't know if that's me or the card. I feel like I'm hitting, I'm missing, like, that was a good look right there. I'm just going to go back to the rim and get myself another inside play. Back out, one more. That was not great offense at all. Honestly, I didn't, I did not get good offense going at all there. We just hit ourselves a BS shot. I'll take the BS three, but that's not great. A uh, couple of rough possessions in a row, a couple of miss open misses. I will say, not not ideal, obviously. For, I'm talking about how good of a shooter he is, and then I'm missing multiple open shots. But at the same time, I think my point still stands. He is a very capable shooter with a fine release who people are overreacting um, in terms of like saying that he's bad because I would be much, much happier. I'm going to lock this set in myself here in a couple of days when I have enough MT. Um, and I would be much, much happier myself to get Patrick Ewing than I would be to get uh, Dark Matter MJ. I think I would, I would definitely use Patrick Ewing in my lineup. He might even start for me. MJ wouldn't be using. This Ewing card is really good, though. He's got great speed and versatility at center. I know I didn't shoot well in this game, but I think this card is phenomenal. I'm very, very impressed by what he was willing, what he was able to do in this game. So I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.